Okay, welcome back. So in the last video we looked at finding turning points. So now we're going to look at finding maximum and minimums. So technically they're the same thing because um, a turning point will be a maximum or a minimum. But we're going to look at distinguishing turning points. So we have to find out if it is a maximum or a minimum. So for a quadratic, where it's just a U like this or like this, that's easy because you know just by the, the uh, formula of the quadratic, if it's a minus x squared, it's going to be an N. And if it's a plus x squared, it's going to be a U. So you know that already. But if you have a cubic graph, when you find the turning points, you're not sure if it's a maximum or a minimum. So we're going to look at how we can test that. Okay? Okay. So the way we do that is we take the double derivative of a point, or the second derivative, or whatever you want to call it. So we take the d2y dx squared at a point. Okay? I'm going to say at a point. And that'll tell us if it is... A maximum or a minimum so I'll show you how now um, these are the rules so we'll say you take d2y dx squared at a point yeah and then if it is so I'm gonna pull a point if positive okay so if the value is positive so we're gonna see how to calculate the value exactly if the value is positive then this means that um, that the curve is increasing Okay, so just bear with me for a moment and then I'll explain all this with a picture and it'll be more clear. Increasing, okay, and since it's increasing, that means there's a minimum. I'm going to draw this U shape, okay, and then I'm going to say if negative, so the value is less than zero, if it's negative, this implies that it's decreasing. Therefore, it's a maximum. And draw a little n. So this might seem kind of backwards. That if it's positive, you think it'll be a maximum. If it's negative, you think it's a minimum. But I'll explain why uh, this is now in a second. So green, and here we go. So we're going to draw a nice cubic curve like that. Okay, and you can see here that the curve is, we'll say, increasing everywhere here. Yeah, so the slope is always going to be positive. Then on this side, it's negative because the curve is going down, as you can see. And then on this side, it's positive again, okay? So you see here, at this turning point, it's going from positive to negative, yeah? So you can say that it's decreasing in, in the whole sense of the thing, that it's going from plus to minus, yeah? And that's what this means here. So we see here that if this is negative, yeah? So if d2y dx squared is negative, then it's decreasing and it's a maximum. So basically that's what that's why that is, because it goes from plus to minus. So if you get d2y dx squared at a point and it's negative, that's because of this. Okay? And the same thing if you get it d2y dx squared at a point and it's positive, that means it's increasing and it's a minimum because it's going from minus to plus. Okay, so that means it's increasing. Yeah? Uh, so if you think about it like that, that's the way to tell if it's a maximum or a minimum. So we're going to look at some examples in the next video, and hopefully that should clear it up. But just you do have to learn this. So to find if something is a maximum or a minimum, you have to get the d2y dx squared at a point. Uh, if it's positive, that means it's increasing, and therefore it's a minimum. If it's negative, that means it's decreasing, therefore it's a maximum. Okay? So remember that, and then if you need this little graph here, that'll, that'll kind of clear it up as well. I use this to remind myself anyway. Okay? So hopefully that made sense, and we'll look at the example in the next video.